Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about uh, conical scan method. Conical scan method is nothing but another type of error generating method. So what do you mean by error generating method? I have already explained in the previous videos. So error signal can be generated by using two different methods. One is the sequential method and another one is conical scan method. So what is the purpose of generating an error signal to track the target? So in order to track the target from the radar system, we need to make the error signal which is nothing but difference between the beam axis and the target axis or switching axis and the target axis should be zero. That means our target must be in the vicinity of our radar system. Always the process should be going on because the target will not be fixed at a one position. It is in keep on uh, rotating. It is in keep on motion so that the error signal is keep on generating. So that if by making the error signal always zero, then uh, the uh, tracking is possible. So to track A target to track a target the error signal should be error signal should be zero okay so the error signal is not actually zero it is keep on generating one uh, uh, value that may be either positive value or negative value depending upon the positive or negative direction the track uh, the plate of the antenna will rotate so this error signal is given to the input to the servo motors so in conical scan method in conical scan method the radar antenna the radar antenna plate rotates in the shape of a cone okay that's why it is conical scan method so Scanning is nothing but identifying the target. So in order to identify the target, the uh, antenna plate will be rotating in the conical shape. Once the target is identified, our next purpose is to make the difference between switching axis, what is that, uh, rotational axis and the target axis must be zero. So once the target is acquired once the target is acquired next work is to produce the difference between the difference between target axis and rotational axis okay so once this one is identified which is known as a error signal once this error signal is identified our next aim is to make this uh, rotational axis and target axis incline together so let us see with respect to diagram uh, see this animation video then so that you can understand what do you mean by conical scan method uh, assume that the target is located at the center okay assume the target is located uh, sorry what is this uh, radar system is located at the center okay so then what happens oh, oh, radar system as it is located at the center it is keep on rotating in the conical shape to identify the presence of target assume the target is located at this particular position okay this is the target position now as it is the blue color line is showing the tracking or conical shape in which the radar system is rotating the plate to identify the target so once this see once the 
target is identified at this particular location what happens whenever we are having the target there it will be having maximum peak okay see observe the peak and rotation of the radar antenna together okay once the target is identified there at that position it will be having maximum amplitude and remaining directions you don't have amplitude okay wherever you are having maximum amplitude we are just making the rotational axis inclined with the target axis so that the target is coming into the center of the entire vision okay okay see from here this is the position where you are having the um, rotational axis and this is the target axis from this point to this point now the difference between these two is nothing but error signal angular error by making this angular error equal to zero the target will come exactly at the center okay so that the target is now it is at the center of this radar system vicinity okay coming to this one see here this is the antenna beam this is the antenna beam which is transmitted and now the plate of this antenna is rotating rotated in cone shape okay the plate of the antenna is rotated in cone shape see the direction of rotation is also given in this direction okay how it is rotating it is rotating with respect to an axis called rotation axis it is rotating with respect to an axis called rotational axis rotation axis now beam axis is there beam is having one particular axis beam axis is there the difference between angular difference between beam axis and this rotational axis is nothing but squint angle beam axis and the rotational axis is nothing but squint angle okay and this is the a a is nothing but tar position of the target a is the target axis here every axis is taken with respect to the center of the radar system with which it is forming a conical shape okay so the difference between the beam axis and the rotational axis is nothing but squint angle and the difference between the rotational axis and the target axis is nothing but your angular error that means what is the target axis this point a what is the rotational axis this one between these two so this is nothing but your angular error angular error okay so now let us see how this angular error is going to be zero what happens now i our aim is to make this angular error zero always we are trying to make this angular error is zero but it is not possible angular error is always generating as the target is keep on changing its positions okay so now what happens we are uh, changing the plate uh, we are changing the position of this plate of the antenna uh, such that we are rotating in this direction now what happens the target axis is inclined with the direction of the rotational axis when these two are in the same direction what happens then angular error becomes zero angular error becomes zero suppose again after the some time what happens the target will be moving to the next position and again angular error is zero again we are making that angular error is equal to rotational axis as the target is in motion this process is continuously repeated okay so this angular error this angular error as you know it consists of two different errors one is elevational error another one is azimuthal error elevation error and azimuthal error so elevation error is nothing but in the vertical direction and uh, azimuthal angle is nothing but it is in the horizontal direction so depending upon the signal direction whether it is a positive or negative the particular movement is going to be done okay so it may, the target may be in the backward direction or it may be in, it may be moving in the forward direction so depending upon the direction of the movement of the target the error signal will be having a positive or negative symbol such that that signal is given to the input of servo motor so that the servo motor will rotate the plate of the antenna such that the target axis is inclined with the rotational axis this process is continued for number of 
times. So always this process is continued, always error signal is generated, always this process is being continued to make the tracking purpose. Okay, our uh, aim, main aim is to track the object. Okay, so this is the conical scan method. In the next video, I will explain how this conical scanning method and the sequential methods, error generating signals are incorporated in the radar system to move the plate of the radar antenna in both azimuthal and as well as elevational direction. Thank you.